I got a lot done yesterday. First the sink. I did recess the hole for the basket and I still need to do some cleaning up. I did test it. It sat with water in it and did not leak. Um, I've got it temporarily set up in here just to get some measurements and see how this is going to work out. It will come out beyond the two feet of the countertop. This counter, as you can see, was you know, ended was up to here and it made accessing that corner next to impossible. I could not open that window before and it was nice yesterday I was able to open the window. And uh, but the floors are good, the subfloor. The bottom of the cabinet was nicely cut out for all this plumbing. But over here on the floor itself, you see there's about, it's over an inch gap between the pipe and the hole and the side of the hole. That is plenty of room for rodents to come through, and they were. It was um, really bad. You can see along the edges, all the mouse droppings. And there was a lot, a lot of mouse urine under here. It was just yellow with it. And I am not, I already decided I am not going to have the fake bottoms on the cabinets. That, that My cabinets will um, go to the floor. So I can access it and clean it and make sure that it's not become a little party place for um, critters. My goal today is to clean up that mess and start laying the tiles before I start doing any more demolition because I don't want to deal with more sawdust on this. This is going to be difficult to clean because it's a little tacky there uh, from the adhesive from the floor from the vinyl that was here. And I'm going to cut out um, the rest of this vinyl to the, to the stove here. And I think I'm going to remove all of this. I was going to try to keep the side, but I don't think so now. And But we'll see. that That's still on flux. But I'm going to do the tiling, um, the floor tiles all the way out to here so I can get the dishwasher, which is currently on this side, over here. And at that point I'll know what other pieces I will need to buy for the plumbing. I know I need to buy, I need to cut that so I can turn this toward the um, sink drain, where the sink drain will be, and I need to shorten this because this is too long. I may get away with not shortening it, but I don't, I don't want it crossing over so much. And I was able to reuse pretty much every, um, I didn't need to use any of the plumbing uh, drain stuff that came with this sink. So, I still have that for the other sink, which is good when it gets installed. It has, it did come with the faucet. Not crazy about the handles, but I like this. And I am going to make the forms for con uh, for a concrete countertop. I already got it on uh, most everything I think. So as I work uh, I'll start making a list, keeping a list. That notebook's helping a lot. It's um, My budget's now down to $80 because I went ahead and spent uh, $125 yesterday for the cement and some other things and I went ahead and bought the two Craig um, jigs that I, I was coveting <laughs> the shelf pin jig and the pocket hole jig and excited about using them I get to use the pocket hole jig today and I'm going to take all this apart which means relocating all of this but that's okay and also, I'm taking all this stuff down, painting that wall, and eventually all the wall 
uh, here where the future fridge will be. This cabinet's going to go, and that this will get painted along with the space in between the countertop and the upper cabinet where the future upper cabinet will be. We'll get painted. Uh, the wall all the way down here will be painted also. And I will build a new shelving unit. And most of this stuff is not coming back over here. A lot to do. And I still have to go somewhere this afternoon. Oh, never simple, is it?